in huge heat treatment furnaces there is a specific atmosphere. Heat treatment is conducted in temperatures of 450 to 1100 degrees centigrade. What is responsible for maintaining a proper atmosphere in the furnace are specialized electronic devices produced by Process Electronic in Sosnowiec. Controllers are specific computers built into the control cabinet of the furnace. They control gas flow valves and the level of temperature inside the furnace. Controllers are devices used for forecasting and keeping programmed parameters of technological processes of heat treatment. Additionally, controllers may regulate other processes, such as hatch opening and oil feeding. Analyzers, in turn, examine the composition of the atmosphere in the furnace on the basis of gas sampling. Let's take a look at their production. At first, a prototype of the device must be developed. The designing process starts from defining a device specification, a collection of all parameters and functionalities that the device should ensure. An engineer prepares a printed circuit board. It comprises components responsible for the device operations and a mosaic of electric connections between these components. On the basis of the design, a board is created and tested afterwards. If the results are positive, a programmer starts his or her job. Embedded software ensures that all circuits cooperate with each other and the device is fully functional. At the same time, documentation is prepared for the printed circuit producer. Finished boards are delivered after a week and afterwards they are thoroughly verified. Then the other components are delivered from the warehouse and the assembly begins. At first, let's take a look at the assembly of the controller. The motherboard is fixed to the faceplate with a display. After that, the rear plate with connections and power supply is assembled. In the case of the analyzer, a display and electronic elements are installed. The power supply is connected and the measurement board is inserted. Assembled devices undergo a series of tests. At first, electronic tests, which examine the communication and operations of boards, are performed. Afterwards, controllers are connected to the power supply and put aside on the shelf. They will operate in this manner for about seven days. Another stage consists of thermal tests. While functioning in industrial conditions, controllers have to be resistant to high temperatures. Shortly speaking, we check whether it works or not, whether the parameters of such a device remain stable in time or how long they remain stable in time. As for the display, we check how fast it loses its contrast. Analyzers, in turn, are directed to the calibration laboratory. Gas calibration consists of simulating, by appropriate mixing of various gases, the conditions inside the furnace during heat treatment. Nitrogen and hydrogen are mixed up in proper proportions and the response of the analyzer is checked. If the measured values show errors, the calibration correction is conducted and the test is repeated. After a proper calibration, the analyzer is granted a specific certificate. The assumed lifetime of industrial regulators is 10 years. After that, technologies will undoubtedly change and the older models of controllers and analyzers will be updated or replaced with new devices on which the engineers at Process Electronic are constantly working.